three years later, I'm 39 and holding. <laughs> I'm holding everything I can. It changes. But anyway, 30 years ago, I made the jump to pop music, and today, I'm thinking about a jump to elevator music. <laughs> See, these are my Johnny Carson jokes. I had to come up with a few jokes. 30 years ago, when I was asked to donate to the old folks' home, well, I gave a generous donation. Today, I was asked to donate again to the old folks' home, so I donated my husband, Carl. <laughs> Seriously, 30 years ago I thought that it was about the high note, and today I think it's all about them books, about them books, about them books. So, <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to say hello to all of you and to welcome you to uh, actually our 30th anniversary. We have so many great things going on. There's a lot of memories in the video that you just saw this morning when you came in and sat down. Now, it seems like it was only yesterday that I was up here on that big rock in the middle of the park, cutting that ribbon to open Dollywood. Of course, I know Sherry remembers that. We got the Hershen, some of the Hershens here. There you are. Yes, my partner's at Dollywood, and we go way back, don't we? Can you believe it's been 30 years? We're holding up pretty good, ain't we? Anyway, why don't you stand up, Sherry? She's the wife of, yeah, get up there. She's like our partner here. They call me, they call me Dolly Parker. <laughs> and that's a good name. But anyhow, uh, the video that we played just a few seconds ago really shows who we are today and how Dollywood has grown from this humble little park into this big family destination that it is now. And it's focused on bringing families closer together. Always has been. And of course, it's fulfilled so many dreams for me, but we're still going strong. We ain't stopping now. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Did you know that back since 1986 when we started, this is the did you knows part, that we've had nearly 75 million guests visit Dollywood, Dollywood Splash Country, and Dixie Stampede. Thank you. seasonal employer in Sevier County. We're very proud of that, too. And it has become the number one paid attraction in all of Tennessee. And we're really proud of that. And, of course, because the most, it has actually become, what I meant to say is it has become the most honored theme park in our industry over the last decade. And that's thanks to a whole lot of people. And a lot of that recognition is because of you, our season pass holders. Truly. You are our best customers, but you are more than that. Over the years, you've become like family to me and to this park. And that's sincere from our part. And the biggest honor, of course, for a performer, for a performer is applause. And I would like to take just a brief second right now and to applaud all of you for your support of the park over the years. So can I do that right now? Thank you. We got folks back here all the time, folks. Want to applaud you. So thank you again. And I promise you that we are just beginning. Now, when uh, we sat down and started talking about the 30th anniversary, I wanted to make sure that we added at least 30 new things, so all of you have a reason to come back to the park, and I'm proud to say that we did it. I'm sure that you saw a lot of it when you came in today, right? Yeah, you did. I'm sure that you saw Dollywood's new Dream More Resort. Is that not going to be great? Oh, can I wait to see that? And you know, that's going to open in the summer, and of course we made some major changes to our entry experience, and I hope you're going to like that, and I bet you are, but there's a whole lot more to come. Now, we have something new every month this season, and I know you're going to be looking to see what all that is, and it's, of course, it, it is also the 15th anniversary of our award-winning water park, the Dollywood Splash Country. Now, that opens in May. It's too cold right now. I think it opens on May the 16th. And of course, we have six new shows this summer alone, including 
two new summer street parties and two new shows from the Little Engine Playhouse for the kiddies. We always like to play that up. Yeah, and plus we have some young Christian singers. Uh, uh, they call it the Young Christians event over Labor Day weekend, and it's called Rock the Smokies. Yeah, I'm sure you know that it's going to be featuring a group called Third Day and a group called For King and Country. And we're looking forward to that. And let me see what else we have. We also have uh, something that I'm really excited about. We are going to be bringing back the Showcase of the Stars concerts. And guess what? I get to kick it off. I'm going to be here. I'm going to start the whole series. And of course, Kenny is going to end it. At the end, we're going to kind of bookend it. And in between, we're going to be uh, doing a lot of uh, a lot of our other friends that are not committed yet, but we know who they are. We're going to be announcing that a little later on. But our goal is to raise a million dollars to support the Imagination Library. All the money's going to go to that. Because we are, you know, we can't get enough books in the hands of children. And we're all excited about the concert series. So anyway, I'm going to be performing on August the 8th and 9th, I believe. I'll be doing two shows a day. And uh, for that weekend, so we're, we're looking forward to that. It's been a while since I've been to perform here on the stage, and we're going to do it right here at the VP. So we'll see you again. Anyway, and let's see where we are now. There's a. Oh, they got me a cue card up there. Okay. Oh, no, they said, I don't know who the lineup is yet. I, I just told them, we don't know that, so we're alone. Okay. <laughs> Unless somebody calls me right now. Cell phone, like Hannah Montana said, ain't done when your hair is ringing. I said, I usually carry my phone and my hair are here. And we don't want them, we don't want to set them off right now, do we? <laughs> anyway, but seriously, we want to uh, make sure that our season pass holders get the first chance at getting the tickets. So if you don't have a season pass, you better get one because these tickets, I believe, are going to go fast. Not just mine, but everybody's. Hopefully, mine will. But anyhow, it's one thing for me to tell you about everything, and it's another thing for you to see it. So I'm going to let you just see for yourself, but I'm going to step back and let you look at this for a minute, and I'll be right back, okay? Share Patty LaBelle and go change clothes, okay? Is that 